Greetings, and it's our privilege to be able to come your way and take a few moments in the Word of God and pray. We thank God that each and every day His mercies are new and His faithfulness is great. And even today, we can say, Lord, your mercies over our lives are new, fresh, and your faithfulness to us today is unending. This week, we are considering overcoming destiny destroyers. And we are looking at the teaching of the Apostle Paul in 1 Corinthians chapter 10, which is going verse by verse between verses 5 through 12, and identifying things that kept the people of Israel out of the land of promise. Today we read verses, verse 8. He says, Nor let us commit sexual immorality as some of them did. And in one day, 23,000 fell. So the third destiny destroyer that the Apostle Paul identifies is sexual immorality. So the first one was lusting after evil things. The second one that we looked at yesterday was idolatry, anything that takes the place of God. And today he's talking about sexual immorality. Now, we know that it is God who designed our sexuality and, and our sexual appetites inherently is not wrong. They are part of our physical makeup as God designed us. But then when these are not aligned to the purpose and the ways of God, and they are, uh, they are satisfied in ways that are unholy, then it becomes immorality, it becomes immoral. And that's what these people fell into. And he says, you know, 23,000 fell in one day. And that's not the only time, but that was a, a, a time when so many people, because of this one sin, died in the wilderness, and therefore they did not go into the land of promise. And so Paul is saying, watch out for this. So you and I must understand that when, our, when we don't guard our sexual appetites and we let them dominate us and draw us away, these God-given appetites, which make up our, which are part of our physical makeup, could actually become destiny destroyers in our lives. They could actually ruin us along the journey and keep us from entering the land of promise, that is, the things that God has planned and prepared for our lives. And so we need to keep our sexual desires, our appetites, in submission to God, consecrated to God. Paul also writes about this in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, and he tells us that we must learn how to possess our vessel in sanctification, that is, in a way that is set apart, in a way that's holy, and honor, in a way that's honorable, honoring of God. So, watch over your sexual desires and appetites and guard over it. Keep it always set apart to God and honoring of God so that these appetites will not become detrimental in your life and they will not keep you and me out of the good things God has prepared for our lives. So let's pray together. Father, in the name of Jesus, we consecrate our sexual appetites, our desires, our emotions, our feelings. We pray that they will be sanctified, set apart for you, and they will be honoring of you in our lives. And may these desires never get the upper hand in our lives. And may, may they never rob us of all that you've planned and prepared for us. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.